So what is the best way of attracting quality home buyer and seller leads? A lead magnet. Let's discuss. There are essentially two ways of generating a lead. We can chase them down. Hello, you want to sell your home? No? Hello? Hello? Or we can attract them. Hey, would you look at that? Somebody else just reached out to me. Do both work? Yeah, I guess technically both ways work. Before we go any further, this video is not about cold calling scripts. If that's what you're looking for, you might as well just turn off the video and pretty much not watch any video on this YouTube channel. But if you are looking for that, you could probably just Google it or search it on YouTube. There are a million people that have cold calling scripts. But if you want to learn how to attract quality leads using a lead magnet, well, keep watching. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a free tool that you can use to create your own lead magnet and start attracting the type of prospect you want to work with. First, let's define what is a lead magnet. A lead magnet is simply information that your perfect avatar needs to make their life easier. Some of you may be asking, what the heck is an avatar? It's your ideal client, a prospect, the type of person you want to work with. And yes, I say information that makes their life easier. Here's a hint. It's not you. Think of the last time you wanted to buy a car. What was the first thing that popped into your head? Was it the car salesperson? I don't know about you, but that's the last thing I thought about. Here's some harsh reality. When somebody's thinking about moving, do you think a real estate agent is the first person or first thing that pops into their head? Probably not. When somebody's thinking about moving, they're trying to solve a problem. And the cool thing about technology and the interwebs is we all go on the internet to do homework, to research. You do it, I do it, we all do it. We don't think of a salesperson anytime you want to purchase a product or a service, is it? As much as it sucks, your prospects are probably consulting with their family and friends about buying or selling their next home. They may not even be right about the decisions they make, the choices they make. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Both you and I know that you can guide them better, point them in the better direction, in the right direction. So the big question is, how can you attract leads? I'm glad you asked. Before we get into the answer, just wanted to let you know, I release real estate videos for real estate agents to help you grow your real estate business. If this is something you're interested in, hit like on this video, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the ringy dingy bell button or YouTube may or may not send you my videos. All right, here's the answer. First rule of attracting the type of lead you wanna work with, you must understand what's going through their mind, meaning you have to understand the issues and the problems they're dealing with in that specific moment. And this is where everything kind of breaks down because agents are looking for this perfect Facebook ad, the magic pill. They want something that they can put on Facebook and it somehow generates buyer and seller leads that just want to work with you like that. It just doesn't happen. Does an ad like that actually exist? Well, yes and no. What? Yes and no? Yeah. Let me break it down for you so you understand why I say yes and no. You can't just take an ad, use it in your local area and expect it to work because you may not know what's behind that ad. What works for one person may not for another. The key to attracting quality leads on Facebook is to make it very specific. The more specific your Facebook ad is, the better quality leads you will get. And when I say specific, I already touched on the fact that you have to solve a specific problem for a specific person, or I called it the avatar. Let me first give you an example outside of the real estate industry. And sometimes when I do that, give examples that are not related to real estate, sometimes that light bulb moment happens and you get that, ah, oh, that's how it works. Now I understand moment. 
Okay, so here is the example. Let's say you're going through a divorce. You may have already gone through a divorce. I don't know who's watching this video. If you're happily married, pretend you're going through a divorce. And let's say that you're thumbing through Facebook on your phone and you come across an ad that says, I'm a lawyer, give me a call. Would you stop and think, hey, maybe this lawyer can help me? My guess is you probably wouldn't even know that ad was there. It would blend in with the background. It would be another tree in a crowded forest. And that's why most real estate agents complain that Facebook doesn't work. It's not that Facebook doesn't work, it's they don't know what lead magnet to use to attract that buyer or seller. Let's look at a second example. Same situation, you're thinking of getting a divorce, you're thumbing through Facebook and an ad pops up and the ad reads, thinking of getting a divorce, but you're not sure where to start and how that's going to affect you financially. Ah, now your answer may be different because now that ad caught your attention. Why did it catch your attention? Because when somebody's thinking of getting a divorce, they're not thinking about a lawyer. Just like people that are thinking about buying and selling a home aren't thinking about a real estate agent. If I were to get a divorce, by the way, I'm happily married, I'm not even planning on it, but if I were, what would I be thinking about? Well, yeah, how is that going to affect me financially? What's going to happen with my kids? Maybe I may think of what will my family and friends think? How do we divide assets? How do we take care of our kids where we're not angry at each other? You see, those are the questions that I would think of. Not, maybe I need a lawyer. That's the furthest thing from my mind. So when somebody's thinking about buying and selling, do you think a real estate agent is the first thing that pops into their head? No. And that's why the second example is a much better lead magnet for a lawyer because now they're speaking directly to your needs, your problems. So as a real estate agent, you have to do the same thing. That's why there's no such thing as give me the one perfect magic pill Facebook ad that's going to make leads rain from the skies. So for example, if you're using a Facebook ad that is attracting first time buyers in one city, well, it could be that that city, the homes are much cheaper. So first time buyers are really attracted to that city. But if you take that exact same Facebook ad and attract it to a super high end expensive city, that ad may not work because first time buyers are really not looking to live in that city. Is that making sense? Every situation, Every city is different. You always have to look at the needs of the people in your local town, your city. Listen to this list. First time buyers, move up buyers, empty nesters, divorce, luxury sellers, lakefront sellers, trailer home sellers, trailer home buyers, bankrupt sellers, investors, developers, foreign investors. The list can go on and on. Do you think every single one of these people or avatars will react the exact same way to the same Facebook ad, the same lead magnet? Of course not. One size fits all ad just simply won't work. You can't just put up a Facebook ad that says, hey, I'm a real estate agent. Whatever your situation is, I'm here to help. That ad will simply not work it will blend in with the background and the rest of the Facebook noise. A generic ad like that is not really a lead magnet. That magnet has no power, no juice, no, yeah, I think you know where I'm coming from. It's not powerful enough. It simply doesn't speak to that avatar's situation. If you wanna know how to create your own lead magnet for your perfect ideal avatar, there are three steps. Check it out. Step number one, well, you have to first select your perfect avatar, the type of client you wanna work with. And I rambled off a list. You have to know what works best for you and your location. Number two, you have to know what their problem is. Every single person that I named on that list, they all have different needs, different situational problems. 
Th does that make sense? A first time buyer will have much different needs than a lakefront luxury home seller. Number three, well, you put together that lead magnet. It can come in many forms. The one that I would recommend, the one that I would suggest that's the easiest to make, one two or three page PDF document that speaks directly to the problem you're trying to solve for that avatar in their specific situation. It's actually not rocket science. It's not that difficult once you know what's going through the mind of your avatar. Once you understand those three steps, then and only then you can go to, well, I guess I could create step four and five. Step four would be put the ad on Facebook. And the fifth step, that's the cool and exciting one, start generating the leads. Can you see where I'm coming from? Can you see how you can actually create the perfect lead magnet, but it all depends on who your prospect is? Before I wrap up this video, just wanted to let you know that I have created a perfect ad template that you can download for free. You can use that template to create your own lead magnet so you can start advertising on Facebook and start attracting the type of buyer or seller you want to work with. The link is in the description. Take a look. Listen, if you found this video helpful, give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the ringy dingy bell button. Otherwise, YouTube may not even tell you that I've uploaded a new video and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.